So what's going on everyone and in this video I want to quickly explain to you what the concept of in-app purchases actually means because I've seen people searching for it or asking this very specific question and I definitely have an explanation for you so let's just get started with this video right now. So you should know that in-app purchases on your iPhone are basically the ability to make purchases within an application. So you don't just buy an app because there is the option as well. You can go to the app store, pay like five bucks and download an app. But what's a better money making method for app developers is to just create an app and release it for free without you having to pay, but then allow you to have some in-app purchases so you can pay within that application. So that is a different thing. And yes, also the naming is uh, pretty self-explanatory, I would say. But let me explain it to you or show it to you on an example. So let me just look up the Duolingo app on the App Store. As you probably know, this, this application is the most popular language learning app out there. And it's a nice one, like it's gamified, all the languages are there and all the stuff. But the app is available for free. And when you download it, you can technically use it for free, but it's kind of limited. And even on the App Store, you can see, I mean, if you scroll down within the Duolingo App Store section, you can scroll down to the bottom and see if this app offers any in-app purchases. And this one, of course, offers uh, many of them, actually. So you can click on this option. It shows you all of the things that you can purchase within that app. So it's mostly like a subscription or like pro mode, whatever you want to call it, some upgrades within the app. It all works within the Duolingo app. And yeah, you can even see it before you download it, but most people just skip this part, just download the app and then be confronted with the reality that they may need or may want to purchase some additional things within that app. So as I already said, uh, the, there are like different forms of in-app purchases. It's, uh, it could technically be some kind of buying of an extra level or an upgrade in a game or perhaps unlocking some premium content or some premium features, uh, something that you don't really have. Let's say you download some productivity app and you need to buy the uh, some kind of sharing feature or whatever it is, but it's something that isn't available for free. When it comes to like games, it's like gems, coins, character customization options, whatever it is, something that you need to pay for. But most likely and most commonly, it's a subscription. And a lot of apps offer this, like it doesn't matter if you go with Skillshare or even Duolingo, uh, most of the apps offer you to buy a subscription of let's say like nine bucks a month and that is also an in-app purchase. Now, how do you actually buy it? Well, you're gonna just click on it and you need to have the um, the Apple like pay payment method set up. So you need to, of course, have and link your Apple ID to a valid payment method, such as credit card or an Apple Pay. And when you actually make the purchase within that app, you'll be like prompted to confirm that transaction. So you either use your touch ID, face ID, whatever, and you confirm that you really wanna purchase and it is just gonna like, uh, create a transaction. So that's how it works. But let's say that it is a subscription and you want to cancel it. There is also the uh, option to do so. So you, in this case, you need to go to the settings of your iPhone and in uh, the main section, just go to your profile or to like your section Apple ID. And there is literally the subscriptions and you're going to be able to see there all of the expired subscriptions that you paid for, all of the current active ones, and even uh, those that are about to expire. So there you can manage everything. So yeah, I hopefully like explain to you how it works. There are of course in-app purchases, which could be technically free, but it doesn't make sense. It's like 99% of the time the in-app purchase is actually like buying it with money. So yeah, I kind of wanted to say that as well. Anyways, that would be about it. Hope the video helped you out. And for more content like this, make sure you, of course, hit the thumbs up if it helped you. And for more videos similar to this one, make sure to subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Thanks all for watching and I'll catch you in the future. Peace out. <laughs>